Are you breathing the wrong way? Yes, that is a real question and it could be the reason why you're not making any improvement during your stretching. So join me for this quick exercise and I'll help you out. Place one hand on your chest and one hand on your stomach. And here, just take a few breaths in with me. They don't have to be very deep breaths, but make them a little deeper than usual. And if it helps, close your eyes and really focus on the movement. Do you feel it more in your chest or in your stomach? Which hand feels like it's moving a little bit more? And when you've taken a few breaths, come back and join me. So where did you feel it more? If you said belly, then this is a good thing. And this is the kind of breathing you should be using whenever you're stretching. When we belly breathe, this taps into our parasympathetic nervous system. And this is the system in the body that helps to calm us down. Whereas when we breathe with our chest, it's usually whenever we're out of breath or we're feeling stressed or anxious. And this is the kind of breathing that we use whenever we're in fight or flight mode, which is not where we wanna be when we're stretching because we're trying to teach our body that this horrible stretch that we're in is actually a safe place for us. Also, our muscles in our chest are not developed for breathing. We have a specific muscle to help us breathe and that's our diaphragm. And this is located just under the ribs. So this is why whenever we breathe with our belly, we can feel our belly expanding. And then when we breathe out, the diaphragm relaxes. We hear all the time about how we need to focus on our breathing whenever we're stretching, but sometimes it's hard to know exactly what that means. So hopefully this has helped you to understand that a little bit better. It's all to do with how the mind and body is connected. Now there are many factors that can influence your stretching, this is just one of them, but this is often the most common issue that people have. So let me know, did this help you? Do you understand your breathing a little bit better? And if you put this into practice, has it helped you with your flexibility? Thanks.